Welcome to a dazzling gourmet baking session. We're going to make some cupcakes. Uh, these, well actually they weren't requested, cupcakes were requested. So this is uh, for Faith, Elwood and Arthur. Okay, and what I'm going to make here is some rainbow cupcakes. Okay, which I know is a little bit late in the day because uh, Actually, these sort of cupcake Gemma recipe again, and it was sort of partly to do with the NHS. So I'm sorry, a little bit uh, late in making these. So we're going to make some. In fact, she calls them double rainbow uh, cupcakes because it's going to be rainbow coloured cupcake with a rainbow frosting on top. Okay, so that's what we're about to bake. Now you need to get your oven on 170. Okay, fan oven 170 anyway, of course. Okay, and um, well, let's get baking. So, to start off with, I've got my sieve over my bowl, I'll put it in my stand mixer, and I've got here uh, self raising flour, I've got 190 grams, put that into the sieve. I've got some caster sugar, I've got 190 grams of that, in that goes, and I've also got about quarter to a half a teaspoon of bicarb or baking uh, powder in that goes and we're just going to sieve that through into here and then the other thing that we'll be putting into there is a hundred we get back here little bugger 190 grams of butter okay um, we're going to want some vanilla essence and a little bit of milk okay and obviously some eggs so I'm just going to get this all into here and uh, breathe in all that cloud. So, 190 grams of soft butter, and that goes. Size bay ball. And then we want three eggs. Now, I'm going to crack the eggs first into a cup or something, just in case, obviously, there's anything wrong with it. Okay, so that's one. Put a bit of shower going in there. In fact, we've got two bits of shower going in there. Um, then what we're going to do is I'll get that bit of shower out, the little bugger. No, nope, don't like that. Um, we're then just going to put that onto the beater. No, it ain't coming. Come here, got you that time. And we're just going to do it for about 30 seconds. Well, essentially, we want to make sure it's all uh, mixed together on a medium that we don't want to overdo it. All right? So, that's the eggs in. I'll put that on there with the beater. And then I'll put that. And then, like I say, we're going to do that on medium. Until it's actually combined together. Doesn't I mean, go mate, got other beer with it. So next thing is into that. It's not quite all combined but just about there but we're gonna add some more anyway aren't we? So now I've got two and a half tablespoons of milk in that goes and I want some vanilla essence I want half a teaspoon of vanilla essence which one's half a teaspoon that one is probably fine I can't undo the lid on this one. Oh no come off this one and then again we're just going to mix that round for 30 seconds or so just to make it all mixed in and then I'm just going to get Get my spatula, give it a good old mix around, make sure it's all done. Now, you're then going to want some bowls, okay, depending on how many colours you want. So, I've got six colours, so I'm going to use six bowls, and what we'll do, 
is I'm just going to have it scrape down and a good old scrape across the bottom, make sure it's all all going to end up being mixed in and then what we'll do is it's divided into the six bowls all right so what I do I've got them all fairly evenly me measured out and I'm now using a cocktail stick take some of my colouring and this is colouring paste okay it's much more intense and all we do is if we just mix it in to one part of it first and then what we will do is mix it all in properly but gently because don't want to knock all the air out of it so I'm now just going to go and colour each of those six bowls so I've got my six colours and what we're going to do now is we're just going to put some of the colours, well we're going to put all the colours into cupcake uh, cases but we're just going to put like a dollop in each okay and then we'll go through with the next colour add a dollop of that so we're not doing it like layers okay it's not layered it's not um, any particular pattern it's so it's so the cupcake will be simply blobs if you like of colour so I'm just gonna go and get rid of all this butter so that's different colours distributed uh, actually only got 10 cupcakes out of that I do find I don't know if it's my cupcake case is a little bit bigger than what uh, cupcake Gemma uses she normally says this is for 12 I normally find it never makes 12 it normally takes 10 it uh, push 11 so that's why sometimes I doubled it just when I need extras but since this is really just for faith our wood and Arthur and a couple of spare just check all right that will do so I'm now going to put that in the oven now it wants to be from about 18 to 20 minutes so I'm going to put it in set timer for 18 minutes and then check them and if they're done if they're like cooked inside then we'll take them out and let them cool and in the meantime uh, we're going to make the frosting now Again, depends on how many colours you want your frosting, depends on how many bowls you're going to need. So I need to do some washing up. So, cakes aren't quite done yet. What we're going to do is we're going to tip uh, some more soft butter, this time 220 grams, into here. And we're then just going to beat this for at least five minutes till it goes nice and white and sort of increases in volume okay so we're just going to leave that going and then we're going to want some icing sugar um, 400 grams of icing sugar a pinch of salt half a teaspoon of vanilla and then a couple to three tablespoons of milk but that we we depend on all right so you know it depends on the consistency so i'm just going to get this going so that's had about five minutes so what we're now going to do, we're going to take the icing sugar and we're going to add half of it and then whip all that together and when that's nicely combined we'll just add the rest of it and then again give it a thorough good mixing. So that's looking nice and white and fluffy if you like. So, just like we did with the batter, we're now going to divide this up into six bowls, okay? So I'm just going to get all this out of here into six bowls, and then just like we did with the batter, each bowl will colour with a colour, okay? And then I'll show you how we're going to get it on top of the cakes. Actually, I should point out that we've added the vanilla. Um, I did that a lot earlier, uh, but I haven't added any milk because I think this is quite a nice light consistency remember we've got to pipe it out so i haven't used any milk so i know i said begin with uh, vanilla the milk chuck the vanilla in earlier i'm not needing the milk so i've got me six bowls of color and you may have noticed my beer change car 
Um, the first beer, this is Tesco's again for you. The wife ordered herself some Cobra India Lager, big bottle 660 mils. Didn't have any. So they substituted. She ordered three big bottles, 660. They gave her three cans, 330ml, of IPA. I think the only sheer resemblance is the fact that the guy by picking off shelf must have realised that the eyes were for India. But anyway, that's one I drank. I drank the last one of that. But this is actually a tiny rebel. This is one of their specials. Black cherry cream. It's like a black cherry cream soda pale ale. Very nice. Actually, it was meant for the wife. It's been in the fridge ages. She had drunk it. Oh, so anyway, what we now do, using a palette knife, I've got some clean film on here, and we're going to take our colour, and we're going to spread it in a strip, if you like, across the clean film. Don't worry about the edges, just get it all out on there, okay? And then we're then going to take our next colour and we will get back here, you little bugger. We're then going to take our next colour and we're going to spread that across as well. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like we've finished. So you can see there I've got my strips of colour and what we do, this is where we need our sushi rolling mat because we're going to pick this up and we're basically going to roll it up into a multi-coloured sautage. Try not to roll it off the edge of the table. Okay, and then just gonna roll it up, manage to make a nice mess on the outside. Um, now, you're gonna now need a piping bag, which I prepared earlier. Let's just get the mess off my hands. And I've got a nice big sort of star shaped rosette or whatever. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop the sausage. Which one should I go for? I'll probably get this all over my hands. We're going to drop that seductively inside. Right, now before I do anything with it, I'm just going to wash up so I've got it all on my hands. So now, we're just going to start wiping it out onto each one. And as you can see, got a fair bit of air in there, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, we're just going to pipe it out and we get a nice rainbow effect on top. And there you have your double rainbow cupcake. So, Arthur, Elwood and Faith, who won't be watching this, who haven't been posted it yet, this is for you. Well, one of them is each. Actually, what I might do in a second, I might cut one open and show you what it looks like on the inside. There you can see, I don't know how well you can see, I can see one, two, three, four colours in that a bit, there's the same there. Um, so they're mixed and then we've got that nice bit on top. And let's just do a little, whoops, my topping's fallen off. Another colour now. Mm. I'm sure I can spare three. Perhaps even four, one for you, Mary.
Very nice.